Hey, Facebook. Hey, Instagram. All right, so I posted this week a picture of myself wearing red lips. In one picture, I had a warm red lip on, and in one picture, I had a cool red lip on, and there were so many questions about what's the difference and how do I shop for one that I thought I'd give you a really quick lesson in how to shop for red lipstick because the holidays are coming. This week is also the Red Gala, sponsored by the Tallahassee Women's Magazine. Everybody's gonna be wearing red, which means everybody's gonna be wearing red lipstick, of course. And so I've got out my trusty color wheels and guides here to show you a little bit about the difference between warm and cool makeup and why it's important and why this is gonna help you with shopping for your red lips, but also for other makeup as well. So if I'm looking in both directions, it's because I'm live on both, guys. All right, so, um, here's a color wheel and if you turn over the color wheel you've got colors that have a yellow base and you've got colors that have a blue base if we turn that over anything that's earth toned on this side of the color wheel generally is yellow or has a yellow undertone and then anything on this side of the color wheel that's gem and jewel toned is generally gonna have a blue undertone all right so all makeup generally is either warm toned or cool toned or it can be neutral as well and so neutral of course is going to look great on everybody right um, but maybe warm colors and cool colors don't look so great on everybody now these days there are no rules with regards to makeup you can do whatever you want right if you want to wear a warm eye wear a warm eye I just say if you wear a warm eye then pick a warm blush and pick a warm lip but I'm going to show you the difference so that you can see so any red lipstick that has more of a yellowy, orangey tone to it is what we consider a warm red lip. Now, this is also more traditional, traditionally glamorous, sort of old school. So, I'm going to show you what a red, truly like an orangey, yellow red would look like on. And this is Gladiola. All right, so this is a warm red, which means it has more yellow in it than it has blue in it. Now, if I were to do this red, I would probably keep my blush and my eyes probably pretty simple because it is a really, really bright color. All right, I'm going to wipe it off and I'm going to show you what a cool red would look like. And then I'm also going to show you with makeup so that you can kind of tell the difference. All right, so this is more of a cool red, which means it has more of a blue base to it. And this is called Dehyla. Do you see that it's actually more of a true, real red? It's not as bright, it's not as fire engine-y looking, it doesn't have as much orange in it. So that is a blue red. Now, what area gets tricky is which one you should wear. And I'll tell you, most people feel more comfortable and look better in cool colors. That's colors that have a blue undertone. There's a very small part of the population that looks really great in yellow-based colors. Although it is on trend, lots of warm colors coming out this fall, even for clothing. Um, let's just give some other examples to make sure that you're, we're all on the same page. I have done a lot of tutorials lately using these two palettes. And one, this is called the volume one and this one's called the volume two, but you've heard me refer to this one as the warm one and this is the cool one, even though that's not the official names, but look at the difference in the color. You see how these have more of a yellow base and these have more of a blue base? So I am more of a winter complexion. I am a cool based com complexion. That's my, my color season. So I typically look better in the cool undertones, and that is most of you. So um, if you know your color season, maybe pop it into the comments right now, because I find that these days most people don't know their color season, so it's something I always go over in my one-on-one -on -one lessons. But if you know that you are a cool, post in the comments, and that means you look best in cool-based colors. So when you're shopping, you always want to look for cools. Um, then there's a certain part of the population, which is a very small, to me, part of the population that looks best in the orangey tones and the neutral tones. Um, and those types of folks usually have a lighter skin tone. They tend to burn easy. They have light eyes, like blue eyes. So warm colors look great on light eyes. 
because they're opposite on the color wheel and they're gonna make those eye colors pop. So I'm trying to do this in the simplest way because I know that I can actually confuse people when I talk about this. Um, okay, so I have two other palettes. This is a warm palette by Morphe. And this is also a neutral palette, but it's a little more on the cool side. Good, you guys are commenting with your color seasons. Okay, so you can see again the difference here is these um, neutral colors have more of a orangey yellow tone to them, whereas these neutral colors have more of a blue, deep, true brown color to them. So everybody can wear neutrals. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you have to look at the undertone of the neutral to see which one will work best for you. So warm neutrals or cool neutrals. Same thing with lipstick and blush. One last example. I have a whole blush palette here of all these different colors. Can you tell now which one has a more yellow base and which has more of a pink base? So these blushes are more apricot and peachy toned. And this one here, Blossom. Those are your warm blushes. And then everything else in the palette is more of your cool blushes because they have more of a blue undertone. They're truly pink. Does that make sense to everybody? Comment if this kind of helps you to get a little bit of a more of a grasp on this. And then I'm gonna show you one last red. So we're gonna wipe this off. Something in the middle that's even deeper red has more of a blue based color. And in my pictures lately, you've been seeing a lot of these new holiday matte lippies. So the holiday lippies, there's one that's light and very neutral. And I posted a picture of this one last week. Also this one. And this is the red, all right? So I used this on my bridal parties this weekend because they all were very glamorous, fall, Christmas type themed bridal parties. And I'm gonna show you. This is the red we used this weekend. Now after this lesson, can you tell which it is? Is it, is it cool? Is it warm? It's really hard to get it straight when you're not looking in the mirror. And this is a matte color. True, true red right here, guys. This is a true red. <laughs> I love it. And it makes your teeth look so much whiter. It makes your complexion glow. So even if you're not used to wearing red, go red this holiday season because you are gonna look awesome. Even if you don't think you do, just put it on, walk away from the mirror because many times it's a self-perception thing. You just aren't used to seeing it and so you don't think it looks great, but it really does. Just watch, you'll get so many compliments. Okay, so um, that's my little quickie lesson in warm and cool. I don't wanna totally overwhelm you with color seasons. I've done a video on that before and maybe we'll pop back in and do another video on color seasons. But generally, most of us are cool complexioned which means we have darker hair, olive skin, or light skin, or even blonde hair. If you are in cool, you're always gonna look best in cool colors. So you always wanna shop for colors that look like this. Anybody remember this? Okay, if you are a warm complexion, which means that you generally are light skinned, you have freckling, red hair, auburn hair, that's when you look best in these colors. That is very few and far between. Even though I'll tell you, this is what's on trend. All the rust, all the yellow, all the mustard, all the leathers and the velvets all tend to be these kind of warm tones right now. They don't look that awesome on all of us. Not that you can't wear it. There's no rules, you can wear it. It's just not gonna be the absolute best on your complexion. All right, so a couple things. Um, one is, you know, it is really hard to pick makeup. It is really hard to pick a red lip that's gonna look great on you. It's really hard to match yourself with foundation. I ran into that even last week. I went to the drugstore, I was shopping for colors and my hands were completely full. I had no basket and this um, worker at CVS came up to me and she didn't offer me a basket. She, she had seen me um, open a lipstick that I was gonna buy, put it on the back of my hand just to test the color. And she said, you can't do that. She said, you need to put that back. You're not supposed to do that. If you, if you open that, I'm gonna have to take it off the shelf and I'm thinking, Okay, last year I spent $10,000 on makeup, right? And this lady not only did not offer to help me find the right color, but she scolded me for testing a color. And I thought, you know, that's the beauty of what we do as consultants, that we're able to give you that custom, personal service and match you perfectly. So with that, tomorrow night I'm hosting a Match Me. If you live in Tallahassee, that's where you can pop in. I will custom match you for foundation, CC creams. You can test all of these red lipsticks out. We'll have all the makeup 
all of the holiday on display. It's from 4.30 to 6.30 at Island Wing Company, um, which is in Market Square. You can stop by in the little room, the cabana room, or in the private room. Test and play with everything. Your first glass of wine is on us, and then pop out. So totally easy to stop in and try some things. Um, another thing is the 14th, which is Thursday. Okay, for those of you who have been interested in the skincare, you've received samples, you've been playing around with things, we've got a great special on the skincare that ends on Thursday, and it is basically 50% off of skincare sets, and that is six pieces. This offer expires Thursday. You get a cleanser, a toner, a serum, an eye cream, a night cream, and a day cream, all for half off, so it's a $434 value. This month, they're $212 for the entire set, and this is for my preferred customers. If you're not one, you can become one for free this month with a skincare purchase. And then you get the retinol for free. So um, those of you who don't know what retinol is, there's two ways you can combat aging through exfoliation, either chemically or manually or physically is what we call it. And so physical exfoliation is sort of like microderms, facial scrubs, mud masks, that sort of thing. Retinol is a chemical exfoliant that sinks into the skin and chemically exfoliates. So it's purging the top layers of skin by doing it beneath the surface and chemically. That's why sometimes people experience some peeling, um, maybe some dryness when they use retinol. If, it, if you're sensitive to it, you don't have to use it every single day. But basically what is it, it's doing is increasing that skin cell turnover rate so that you're purging those those top layers of dead skin which is super important to staying youthful your skin looking youthful smooth maintaining elasticity um, you know and collagen levels so retinol is a very powerful anti-aging I'm sure you've heard of it before but it is a $70 product and it is free this month with the purchase of a skincare set so whether you are already a preferred customer with me or not um, you get the whole skincare set at 50% off this month, and then you get the retinol product for free, and that expires on Thursday. So come tomorrow night and see me. Lastly, I'll mention that if you are interested in holiday glam, you want to know how to use glitter, you want, you've been wanting to come to something where you get to see something live, on Sunday from 4 to 6, Milk and Honey Salon and I will be doing a live holiday glam class. Now, they're teaching the hair part. I'm teaching the makeup part. It's $60 to attend. We ta we're taking 20 people. I think we have about five spots left. It's this Sunday, 4 to 6 and you leave with a goodie bag. And they're right here behind me. I know Instagram, you can't see them. Let me show you on Instagram. See them, aren't they cute? Okay, you get the gold goodie bags and there's gonna be about $40 in products that are gonna be in the goodie bag. So you can come see us on Sunday. And then we had a couple winners. Last week, I asked you to share my video. Those of you who did not see it, it was on how to apply your own lashes, which is perfect for the holidays. So make sure, go back if you have not seen that. It's on Facebook. It's also on Image by Lisa on YouTube. And um, Shelly Wilson-Jones was our winner last, last week, and she's gonna get an entire set of lashes with the glue and the tweezers. And then the, the week before that, I did five makeup tips for eyeshadow that your mama didn't teach you, and our winner was Brenda Farrell, and she already got her eyeshadow palette, so congratulations. But if you feel like this video would help somebody on your friend list, share the love and share it. Instagram, you can't share it, but on Facebook, you can. Um, and then, I think that's it. I'll see you guys next Monday. Um, comment on the reds. We've got the first one I used was Gladiola. That was our yellow based red. The blue based red was Dehyla. Okay. And then the last red that I have on right now, which I'll probably just keep on even though I'm in workout clothes, is the new holiday liquid lip on one side and on the other side is the gloss and these glosses are so cute and so shiny so all right i'll see you next week on monday we'll be going over another topic related to holiday glam see you then